I'm Margie Gunner. And I'm Heather Waterhouse. And you're watching Justin Now! <laughs> Episode 2. I'm your host, Margie Gutter. And I'm your co-host, Jordan Ross. Hi, Mom! <laughs> so, this lovely lady sitting beside me is going to be the new intern of Judson Now that Heather and I were speaking so highly of in our last episode. She will be both behind the scenes, behind the camera, in some of our videos, and co-hosting a little bit as well. So she's just going to kind of all around become one of the Judson Now team, which we're super stoked about. Jordan, tell us a little fun fact about yourself so the community um, can get to know you. All right, okay, so basically all children, well, female children, and I am, okay, all right, they're scared of grasshoppers and bugs and anything that flies and could possibly eat them. So I was not that kid. In fact, I would bring snakes home and be like, look at this, look at this, can I keep it? And um, the answer would be no. And, um, you know, <laughs> the mom would be like, no. But anyway, um, so I found out that grasshoppers can bite you. Like they really? Can they can. They're evil little devils. It hurt. So I uh, I still pick up grasshoppers, but now I pick them by like little wings and the, the, um, the leg on the side of the part, the back part there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I... Did you know this? Yeah, tell me. That they... Yeah. Uh, did you know No, this? no, did, did, I, did I know this? You know what? I was just fixing to say, I think we actually had a three-part lesson. We learned that mm -hmm. Jordan perhaps was a bit of a tomboy. Is yeah, that a safe assumption? Yeah, he would be absolutely safe. Looking back on Facebook, but, oh, oh, oh no. don't, don't, <laughs> stop. And the second thing we learned is that grasshoppers can bite you. You're welcome. You didn't have to Google this. this yes, is that's true. And the third thing Thank is you. that Jordan picks them out by her, their back legs yeah, now. Yeah, back so legs. And that's safety. Now you know to pick them up by the back legs. We, and you know as well. We, we provide PSAs here at Jensen now. The more you know. It, it really is. Um, but what are, we, what are we talking about here today other than the, the vital information that grasshoppers can and will bite you? That is you. only, not only entertainment, but education. That's we are true. learning about the Jensen Code. Oh, we are. And yeah. you know what? That is also entertainment and education. It is. It is very humorous. It is very humorous. <laughs> but not to be taken lightly. <clears throat> yeah, right. Um, it's not to be taken lightly. So the video you're about to watch outlines some of the uh, standards for appropriate dress that we here at Judson adhere to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to let you go ahead and take a look at that. But again, we want to remind you that though this is a very humorous video, it is not to be taken lightly, and the rules that are mentioned in this video are very serious. Take a look. Hello, J-Town. I'm Margie Gunner, and I have the privilege of serving as the Honor Council President of Judson College. You're about to watch a video that outlines some of our standards of appropriate dress here at Judson, as outlined in the student handbook. Now, I want to remind you that while this video does contain some humorous content and has a, is of a humorous nature, we want to remind you that the rules that are listed in this video are very serious and are not to be taken lightly. Warning, all of the people in this video are real. The cases are real, the people are real. This is Judge Judy. Just kidding. But the people in this video are real Honor Council representatives and the rules in this video are real. Please note that the reps in this video are completely acting and this is not at all what they are like in real life. Thank you. Students clothing choices send a message about them and about the college. For this reason, modesty, propriety, and reasonability are at the core of the Judson's dress requirements. The following standards of appropriate dress should be followed by students. Please note that for the sake of time, every standard of appropriate dress is not covered in this video. Please also note that Judson College students are still responsible for these standards. Here is an example of an appropriate outfit for a professional dress day or event. A dress or skirt, coordinating women's suit, 
with an appropriate dress shirt or blouse may be worn with or without the jacket. Coordinating women's dress shoes and no sandals, please. Black closed-toed women's dress shoes may also be specifically required, but this is usually just for the seniors. Here's an example of business casual. This outfit would be appropriate during Sunday lunch or a business casual dress day or event. Appropriate during Sunday lunch or business casual dress day or events are dresses or skirts, women's slacks, dress pants or khaki pants, blouses or sweaters, and coordinating women's dress shoes. Here are some examples of some appropriate shoes. Black closed-toed shoes, open-toed shoes, black closed-toed high heels. They do not have to be high heels. Not appropriate during business casual events under any circumstances are sneakers. Yeah? Well, Lily, we actually don't allow sneakers, though those are a pretty nice pair. We prefer you wear a different kind of shoe for business casual. Yeah? Well, now, Lily, those are nice, but again, we'd really rather you not. Yeah? Dig in the sneakers, but no. You're more than welcome to wear another kind of shoe, though. Other shoes we don't allow are flip-flops, other flip-flops, <laughs> Sperry's, Tom's, flip-flops with a fish. Lily? Only appropriate in the residence halls. Bare feet. Pajama bottoms and tops. Bedroom slippers of any kind. Shorts that are shorter than fingertip length. Camisole shirts without an overshirt. Also, ladies, let's keep those bra straps covered. But I like this. To make this outfit appropriate for outside of the dorm, all Katie has to do is put on a shirt over it. Not appropriate for outside of the residence halls unless actively participating in a college-sponsored activity or working out in the gym are yoga pants or leggings. What? I'm covered. Shorts must be visible over your yoga pants or leggings. Uh, that might take too long. It'll just take a second. Okay, wait. Right? We actually still can't see your shorts, Heather. They're on. I promise. I believe you, but your shorts do need to be visible. Okay. Bingo. We do not allow any form of yoga pants without shorts on over them outside of the residence halls, including flare yoga pants. What? But I'm a star! I believe you're a star, Heather, but I'm sure you could go throw some shorts on over those or go change. Yeah, but you see, I have a band, so they're like really cute, and it doesn't need shorts because there's a band to go for it. Are you fixing to go work out or use the gym? I'm running, and I always walk to class. I don't think that counts. Why don't you just go change really quick? I do love the band, though. I look silly now. Ooh, yeah. Might just want to go change those. Cut off shirts are only appropriate in the residence hall or when using the gym or actively participating in a college sponsored athletic event or activity. Don't worry, athletes. If it's okay with your coach, you can wear this for practice. Only appropriate in the residence halls or when using the wellness center or actively participating in a college-sponsored athletic event or activity are breaches. Well, 
I mean, my socks cover the same amount of skin, so I figured it compensated. Breeches may be worn around campus as long as you are visibly wearing a pair of shorts over them. Well, but I'm on my way to the bar for class. We'd really prefer that you just throw on a quick pair of shorts over those when coming to and from the barn. A lot of the team members just keep a pair of extra shorts in their glove compartment so they just can slide them on and off as needed. Last but not least, there are a few items that we do not allow in the chapel regarding dress. These items include Visors. Oh? Hats. Huh? You can still wear that to Rose Sunday though, Lily. We, we don't allow bandanas to be in the chapel. Oh, where, where's the chapel? Is that around here somewhere? Well, do I have to well, go there? If you could take off one of your bandanas. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Is that good? Is that good? Well, that good? we prefer no bandanas in the chapel. Right? We're good. I think just a few more should come off, maybe. Okay. I'm, I think I'm ready to go. Can I go now? Let's let's just do a, a couple more, though. There's there's still some bandanas. Okay. What were, what were we doing again? We're we're taking off your bandanas so you can go to chapel. Uh -huh. Let's see if you can take off one more. Oh, this must be what you're talking about. But she looks really great. You still have on one more bandana, Lauren, that needs to come off. Oh, this one. Okay. Awesome. Okay, is it that way? Wait, where, where are we going again? Also not allowed in the chapel are hats. This might be a reason as to why. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we hope that you'll refer to it if you have any questions or concerns regarding the dress code. We're always here for you as members of student leadership and we hope that you'll approach us if you have any questions or concerns and we hope that you have a wonderful year at Judson College. You know, I really don't know about this Judson dress code. I mean... Do it! Just do it! Nothing is impossible! Just do it! <laughs> okay, uh, I really don't have time to do the Judson dress code. That's my big issue there. I got no... Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just like do it! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just uh, yeah, I, I just do it! If you yes, you okay. can! Um, uh, just do it! Okay, gotcha. See ya, bye, okay. Do, wait, do you know that guy? You know, he seemed a he little a black intense. Go to, seriously, though. What's up with that braid coming? I, I don't know. Is what? he, he's not a Judson girl. No, does he go here? Do you? I don't think he's a Judson girl. I'm not exactly sure. On a little bit of a more serious nature, um, the Judson code is a, not a set of rules, I would say but kind of a group of ideas or beliefs to help us as Judson women live more Christ-honoring lives. So we at Judson take this very seriously. We adhere to it. We believe in it. We even sign a book when we come to Judson that says, I agree with this. I, I promise to you know, try to uphold this to live as Christ-worthy of a life as I can. And I think that's really awesome. I think so, yeah. Um, Joan Moore said it best. She was a senior way back in the day. Um, and she said, basically, I don't want to do these things to impress people, um, to impress my professors or my, you know, my sweet mates or my roommate. Yeah. But I want to be this person because this person allows me to be who God wants me to be. And it's just kind of like a platform. And just from there, you can just take off. Exactly. So although it can be, you know, a few times, 
uh, you're just like, I don't want to do the dress code. And uh, is this long enough? It I believe it helps a lot. We very much encourage you to follow the Judson Code. However, if you do not, you do face um, being written up. That's very true. And the, the write-up um, process here at Judson is encouraged so that we as sisters, as Judson sisters, can rebuke and encourage one another. I would encourage you, if you see one of your Judson sisters breaking the Judson Code, exactly. to go to them and strongly encourage them not to do that. And mm -hmm. if they would rather prefer to continue to break the Judson Code than you would be encouraged to write them up. It's very true. Um, there's also a common myth running around. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people think that you know you don't have to be you have to be told before you're written up. And is that true? That's See? not true, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Go to them in love and say, you know, hey, I just want to let you know. That's not exactly what we call JCA. Yeah, JCA, we which don't means have to be Judson College Appropriate. And Jordan's making JCA. a great point. Please do not be unkind or think of it as an opportunity to because I would cry. Put down <laughs> your sisters. We share an additional bond to the body of Christ that we already share in that we are Judson sisters. So I think that's something that should be honored. Absolutely. So everyone's just gonna Ooh. follow the yeah. the dress code. Should, and um, it's not gonna be a problem. Should, just do it, honestly. You, you should just do it. That is a great slogan, Jordan. Yeah, I don't know who that guy was, I think but that's original. I, you came up with that? I'm going to write that down. You, oh, gosh. We can make money with that. Oh, my, do you think we should do, like, a video? You video? know what? Should be viral? You know, we could. We make like or a we could, like, put it on clothing with, mm -hmm. like, a check. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? That sounds too good. No, I don't think anybody's ever done no. that That sounds great. Let's do that. We can make so much money. Oh, no, no. Why are we doing this? Oh, wait. This? Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Oh, shh. Go away. <clears throat> Um, anyway, um, anyway, I'm your host, Margie Gunner, and I'm your co-host for the day, Jordan Roth. As always, don't forget to click that subscribe button and like this video and comment. You can send us your questions, suggestions, or ideas to judsoncollegenow at gmail.com and like us on Facebook. Sounds good. Facebook at facebook.com. And you're going to continue to watch Judson Now, right? Right? What are you Just waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!